it occurs to me that when you look at somebody, you don't really see who they are as much as you see what they are. So, you know, when you go to the hospital and you see people running around in blue outfits helping people, you don't see other human beings or other people just like you, but you see doctors, you see nurses, you know. When you at the bus station and you see, see a bus and you see someone get off the bus, just like that gentleman over there in the green pants and his white shirt, his nice little Transperth uniform. You don't see another human being or person just like you, but you see a train guard or a bus driver. And this is what struck me is that the way that we identify somebody, you know, is based on what they do more so than who they are, you know. When somebody dies, uh, whether you're reading about it in the newspaper or whether you're reading about it on the tombstone, you know, it never says uh, John or Bob, the nicest guy who ever lived, you know, or the honest guy, but it always says, you know, John, father, you know, or son, uh, or whatever, you know, usually describes his role. Uh, and like I said in the news, I noticed that the, what they always mention is, you know, local man, you know, firefighter dies and blah, 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 you know. And I remember reading an article a few months back, and the whole entire focus of the article, which I found on Cracked.com, which is an in interesting site for straightforward blogs and humorous blogs. And this, this article was kind of humorous, but it was mostly just full of attitude, and it didn't hold back any punches. It was telling the truth as bluntly and as straightforward as possible. And the truth was this, that who you are doesn't really matter. And, you know, at the end of the day, if, if, if a woman gets shot, you know, and falls down on the sidewalk in the city, it's not the man that goes up to her and says, look, I'm an honest guy, I'm fair, I pay my taxes, and I love my kids, and, you know, I'm, a, I'm an overall nice person, all right? I'm a good soul. That guy's not going to help that girl from bleeding, and that's not going to help seal up the wound or remove the bullet. But when a nurse steps up or a doctor and says, it's okay, I actually have the skills to help you, she's saved, and it makes a difference, yeah? And that's the point, that it doesn't really matter who you are. This is what this article pushes, that who you are is just the dirt stuff of who you are, of what you are. And when I say the dirt stuff, I mean if you see yourself as a tree bearing fruits, you know, whenever we look at the tree, always look from the bottom looking up at the majestic foliage and the tasty, sweet offerings of the tree, of the fruit that the tree has to offer you know, what it has to extend out to others. We don't look from the top down, looking at the soil from which the tree stems. And that is the same as who you are. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter if you're a nice guy or if you're fair or honest. You know, a lot of guys would be complaining, why don't girls like me? Why do girls go for assholes or other people besides me when I'm such a good person and I'm so interesting, you know? So interesting. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter how interesting you are. And it doesn't matter how good you are. As admirable as all that stuff is, in an idealistic sense, in a realistic sense, it's not that helpful. It's not that useful. You know, unless you're interesting in the way that you have a lot of knowledge, which can be used in various situations to help people more effectively get to where they're going, then sure, that's useful. But if you're just full of random trivia and lots of interesting facts, which don't really help anyone in particular advance their course, that's not useful. And at the end of the day, the article concludes that, you know, the dirt is, is, who you are is the dirt of your being. And really, it's what you do that matters. It's what you do that counts. It's what you do that people recognize because they benefit from it firsthand. So that's how people evaluate the worth of other people. I think in general, whenever they go to hang out with a friend or catch up with somebody or keep someone connected in their life and invest time and energy, into that relationship, generally, it's because they're getting something from it. Whether it be, it doesn't have to be materially, it doesn't have to be financially, it doesn't even have to mean that the person is providing various services, you know, and actually helping to physically facilitate things. It could just be 
you know, that the, maybe the person's playing a role of counsellor and they're actually a really good person just to be with, to have listened to you when you're venting. And uh, when you go out, go to them, you know, some people you'll find that you want to speak to or hang out with in particular whenever you're feeling down or angry. There's certain people that you'll go to because they provide something. They can help you, you know, just to relieve the stress. Uh, you'll have other people when you're bored and you need a bit of excitement, you need to have a bit of fun, you might uh, orbit around other people more so, you know, who are more entertaining maybe more financially set up, you know, and generally when you're with them, you end up having fun. You know, maybe they're, they're charismatic and take the initiative and they lead you and they, they choose whatever you're doing, you know, whenever you hang out, this, this is what we're doing, it's a new adventure. And that's useful, that's fun, you know, benefit from that. So I think if you, if you want to attract the ladies or if you want to just attract friends in general, if you want to have people remain to give a shit a real shit about you. I mean, people give a shit about who you because of the dirt stuff. Don't get me wrong. Being a nice guy and interesting is all good and well. And people will care about it to an extent. You know, and when you're gone, they'll probably miss you still. They might even cry. Doesn't mean that they're going to catch up with you a lot of the time when you're alive. Because maybe you don't really just, you just don't offer as much to them as other people do. And there's, there's only so much slices of this pie of time that we can share with people. You can't spend all the time in the world with everybody. You've got to slice it up somehow and distribute accordingly. And we distribute according to what benefits us, what advances our cause. So, if you want to be more interesting to people really in the way that you're keeping them interested, then as the article suggests, it is useful to you know, routinely pick up new skills, new abilities, hone some of your master trades and some of your master abilities, but always pick up new abilities because, you know, you're never going to know who you're going to meet, what they're going to need, and in which ways you're going to be able to help them, whether it be a dying pedestrian on the sidewalk, somebody that needs help with their car, you know, or somebody that just needs to be able to talk to you and confide in you with their feelings and be able to get effective responses, useful responses from you. So it's good to read, uh, learn new skills, and various life hacks can be useful, you know, and it's good just to be generous and to figure out how can you help people? What's your strong suit? What can you best provide? And what, what you know, which ways can you help people that you can master and focus on that? And trust me, at that point when you start bearing more fruits and actually offering more fruits that people can grab and bite instead of just this idealistic, oh, yo, you're a cool person, jazz, then people might actually see you as being worth more of their time. An investment and that's that's the rant that's the basic rant that you know whether you're seeing the bus driver or whether you're seeing a police officer we generally see people as what they are and I think that's for good reason because well that's what we first look to isn't it it's what they're doing it's what they're providing it's the role that they're playing and unfortunately for some that seems to have precedence over who you are inside as a person.